Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 176 of Less Platinum and 100% Neo 2 Remastered. Alright, since last time I actually made a few changes to my gear setup. Um, the one thing that I got... So I made a ranged weapon that was a longbow, Wisteria longbow with Ben's Tens Grace. It took forever to get that. Basically I just kept putting one Divine Fragment in and uh, trying and trying and trying. Also, it is possible to make them and then like turn the game off, turn it back on, and then make it again, and you get to keep your resources, but the RNG just doesn't change. So if you make a green weapon, it'll always be the green weapon that you were gonna make the previous time. So just use one at a time until you get what you need. I finally got it. I cannot believe it, but a Shuten Doji mask with Benzai Ten's Grace dropped since last time. I was like looking and I was like, you have got to be kidding me. So I actually managed to get this. This is gonna help me so much. So I'm using it. Um, I'm still using my Tiger Skin Curus and my Lone Wolf Gauntlets. I changed these two legendary Shogun pieces to Genryu's Waste Guard and Greaves. Reason being is they come with uh, the set piece bonuses are Extended Yokai Shift and even more Amrita Gauge Charge, which is really good for me. And the only other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this Black Lacquer Longsword. It does give me key recovery speed with the Sears Bow that I have here, but I'm actually going to change it to another piece with. Uh, any piece with um, Benzai 10, so let's go with this one here, because I need versatility. As I explained before, versatility is just really good. Um, every time you use an active, a unique active skill, you'll get a uh, attack power boost and uh, up to a maximum of 9. Now, if I had one more Benzai 10 Grace, I could get key recovery speed back by 10%, but I don't. So, yeah, the Shugendo, unfortunately, is still Ubisu's Grace, which does suck, but it is what it is. All right, so I'm pretty confident that's my gear set now to go. The one other thing I'm going to do, I have to actually probably take the headpiece off. I'm going to soul match that. So, soul match my, let me make sure I get this right, my new Shuten Doji Mask with my old Shuten Doji Mask, which I should unlock, um, so that I can get the attack bonus on, on there. Bang. Look at that, 9,000. It costs nothing to do that. All right, excellent. Uh, I'll use my two dialogue pieces, uh, two dialogue patronage levels. All right, yeah, it took me like 30 or 40 crafting things to get that. All right, here we go. Cherry Blossom viewing in Daigo. Now, I want to explain. Technically, I have not actually beaten this level on my practice file yet, but I have a pretty good feeling this time about being able to beat it here. I think my character is far stronger than what it is on practice, even though it's pretty close. So let's just see, what's my defense at by the way? That's good. Health is a health could be a little better, but the defense being that high gives me some semblance of hope. Okay, um, let's just stick with the Sears bow. <laughs> I actually missed that one very slightly, but they gave it to me. I wonder what the purpose of that attack is. Okay, let's go over versatility. So as you can see, I just did three attacks. There's a fourth one. And also, as you can see, it combines with uh, Unbowed, which is really good. Uh, attacks, it, it lasts about 45 seconds, apparently. I think I mentioned that before. Oh yeah, this, uh, this part actually sucks. You can use, uh, you can see that some of the attacks I did was like, I, I did a killing blow, a grapple. That one doesn't count. Okay, a little dangerous here. Um, how about this? Looks like I have to get back into the groove of playing again. Kick, kick, kick. So I can do one of these. Hang on. Let me try that again. I should have counted. Ah, oh, because I didn't hit with Archer's Impact. There we go, there's another one. Okay, struggling a bit here, but that's okay. We'll get into the groove. Get into the groove, boy, you got to move. Man, if I... My, my only goal for today is to beat this, this mission. That's it, if I can beat this mission, I'll be very happy. I have a lot of stuff that I want to do, and if I can beat it. That's, didn't want to just get him. Thank you. Oh gosh. Okay. Ah, oh, I did block but my key ran out. Ah, damn. 
Hmm. Interesting. It's actually really bad. <laughs> Especially because I'm already behind on this mission. Uh, Alright, well, I know this, this episode's going to go for long, so... It is what it is. Skip past... I was trying to skip past these two guys. No! Get lost. I'm gonna get my body over here. Um, okay, this could be bad. Go! Oh gosh. Go, 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 go. Get him. Perfect. <laughs> that guy didn't notice me. Come on. No, let me get him. Okay, good. Playing a little risky, but should be okay. Oh, I like that move. Oh yeah, there's a big Sudama here. It's like one of the earliest Sudamas you'll find. All right, let's transform. What? What happened there? I've never done that before. You can transform into a... into a grapple? That's awesome. I didn't know that. I guess because I've got like a lot of Amrita Gauge charge, it probably makes sense to... Let's see how quickly I can get my charge back. Well, at this point, probably not very because I've only got like one enemy to fight, but... Okay, ooh, black bear fur helmet, nice. Uh, what can I even give this guy? Oh. <laughs> helmet? No helmet. I don't even know what I can give that guy. Usually you get... Oh, you can re-roll re stats on on some of this stuff. What would I re-roll? Maybe... maybe this one? Actually, that's pretty good. What can I re-roll? I don't know. <laughs> The... no, not Kadama Natsuke, that would be silly. Japanese Scissors? Japanese Scissors... And have the Gord as payment. Let's just see what happens. I don't like just like leaving the, the big Sudamas because they can be useful. Probably nothing worth it, but let's have a look. Nah, no, nothing really that great. Alright, we've got another Magatsu warrior here, and he's a powerful one, or a cursed one I should say. Huh, I was like, wait, what happened to my <laughs> anima? Don't I still have like decent anima gain? Nice. I hope this works, I really hope this works, because I don't mind spending a bit of time Nice. I don't mind spending a bit of time getting it done in my practice, but to just have it be done here... Wow, both of them are cursed? That's awesome. Crap. To have it be done for the episode would be really nice. Now, it is going to take a little longer, but I am going to take these guys out. If I can aim. Who saw me? Come on. <laughs> wow, that was perfect timing by that toxic slime. Or less of me, Bozo. Good. <laughs> Excellent. Ooh, Imakome's helmet. So Imakome is the one that's a brilliant stratagem, which is, I, I actually think Imakome might be better than, it might be like a bit of a slept on piece of gear because what it does, even just having, well, as long as you have your Yasukani, even just having one piece will give you the two piece set bonus, which is um, blindness on scorched enemies. 
And I don't know if it works on bosses. I don't see why not, but well, I could see them going, oh no, can't let this happen. Can't let this work on bosses, it's too, like, you know, it's a boss. It can't have debuffs, but if it does, that could be very handy. Okay, avoid this first attack. Force kick him down. Oh. Come on, game. Give me your... Yeah, that's what I wanted. That was a bit risky. I didn't have full health. Okay, at the moment, I think it's okay, but it does feel a little bit slower than normal. But, hey. I'm all for slow if we can actually get through. That's all I care about right now. Uh, don't need to open that. Pretty sure I'm not going to lose to... Let's do it anyway. <laughs> I'm trying to think of where the next shrine shrine is. I don't think it's just there, but... I'll open it so that... In case the inevitable... Not the inevitable. In case the... I don't even know what word to use there. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Okay. Does she help me? Oh wow. Even this guy is ready to go. Oh, she does help me. Okay, cool. Well, then I'm 100% sure. What? Okay, I'm happy with that. I don't know why that guy had such little... Turn him around. You can also focus... I don't know if I mentioned this, but... Because my... Because I have such a lot of anima... And a decent way to gain it... You can kind of focus your attacks around just using Mizuki over and over again. And that may be a strategy that I choose to employ when I go after Shinobi Hakama. When I go after Kashin Koji. So, I don't know. We'll see when I get there. Oh, that, that's the helmet it was wearing, for sure. Alright, go, 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 go. We also have to fight another Mizuki here. If I don't die anymore, I should be able to get through this pretty quickly. Oh, hello. Quite a lot of, um... Uh, okay, got it. I know what saw me, it's a aberrant soldier. Please don't make me fall off. What? What happened there? That doesn't matter. Look at that life drain. Oh yeah, uh, on practice I actually managed to get... Uh, I finally managed to get a Magatsu warrior. I did a bunch of, um... Demon scroll missions. They they seem to drop like really good stuff. They I feel like I got a bunch of really good stuff from those demon scroll missions. So they're well worth it. They're diffi some of them are very difficult. Some of them are quite easy. But doing them, I, I feel like the rewards were a little better because I'm pretty confident that's where I got the Shuten Doji mask. Uh, on like in in this playthrough. So definitely take take a look at those. What was I saying? Um. Let's grab this and this. I forgot what I was saying. It's talking about a lot of the oh man, the Mizu oh right, the aberrant soldier. So not aberrant soldier. Um, on practice, I got a Magatsu warrior, and it had life drain yokai ability as one of its extra abilities, and I was like, oh my goodness. And I checked, and I was like, hmm, none of my other skills have life drain yokai ability here, or whatever it is, life drain. Yeah, Yokai ability hit, I think that's what it's called, something like that. And I powered the Magatsu Warrior all the way up to max because it was a green one as well. And I was just getting like so much health back from using using that attack. Uh, there's still two over here. Ah, okay. Get rid of you first. Just don't let the Mizuki see me just yet. Beautiful. That's one. Smack. Okay, good, good start. Alright, watch this Mizuki fight. So, we do this. Do this. Have another one. I was trying to get him on fire, but apparently he doesn't want to. 
So he's electrified and he's saturated. Ah, now he's out of key. So one thing, I actually should point that out because I think it's actually a really useful to explain how I do. So that's the one you can usually count on, how I do it. When he's like out of key there, I throw in a um, the Rising Gale, which is the one where you just key pulse and press a direction so you can move forward as you key pulse. So I'll, I'll show you. You do this and then you do, you do this and this, right? And after I do that, I press L1 triangle. And if you hit something with this move, he'll do a second hit and it'll give you a large quantity of key back as long as you have the... I, I think it does it automatically, but if you have the that skill attached to it... Um, I forget, forget which one it is, but you have one of the ones that increases the amount of key you get back from each skill. Oh, sorry, anima. Anima, anima. Not key. If you have that, um, you get a bunch of anima back, and then I use uh, R2 square to... Um, like, let's see. He, he, he has no key. He no longer has key. And then, well, if he was standing... And then if he if he's out of key, you can kind of almost do beyond infinity. Yeah, it sort of works. And I think what I'll do after I finish the new game plus plus is I will get rid of all the old old pieces of gear that I have because I just don't think I'm going to need them. Like, well, I'll go through it like systematically and go, okay, don't need this, don't need this, don't need this, don't need this, so on and so forth. All right, we're about, it's annoying, but we're only about halfway through the mission. Um, all right, this part is very difficult. So you can go for it like crazy. Let's try this. That's what I want. I'm gonna go for it with Mizukis. That was good, that was good. Almost dead. Got lost. Don't kill me. Done. Beautiful. Alright. That... I, I feel like this area in particular... What is it? An Enki and two Roku Roku Bees? I feel like that kills so many players. It's so unlikely to get through that without dying. Also, I think if you run here, you will fall onto the platform, but I like to... Just let myself, or let the platform come up first. Highly recommend shooting that guy in the head, facing him this way. So that you can get him on this side and avoid the other guy. Hang on, let me show that again. So, archers impact into square, 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 forward X. And then, I don't know if that actually went off, but yeah, we're up to 9. As you can see, our versatility is like, almost always on 9. Ooh, legendary Shogun's helmet. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, okay. I don't know where the other guy is, but let me take you out first. Come on. Ah, almost got the other one. <laughs> wow, six thousand. Sometimes I, I I'm so confused at like why I do so much killing blow damage. Now I'm Legendary Shogun's Waste Guard. This one's almost always a, uh... A Mugina. Da -da -da. Okay, gimme. Always worth it to fight Mugina. Unless he, uh... Becomes a problem. Ah, he's easy. Kick! What'd you give me? Literally nothing. Okay, we'll leave the other guy, he's not... Oh well, I was gonna leave him. Who knows, maybe he'll drop something really good. What would I be looking for now? I'm just trying to think. I would be looking for another Shigendo's Hermit's Fists, but with Benzai Ten, and I think that would definitely... Well, 100% it would help. Um, but the chances of me getting that are going to be unlikely. Oh, he actually dropped two greens. He wasn't even a cursed one, so huh, I guess it was fighting, worth fighting him. Oh, man, I am so worried about the end. Okay, for this 
highly recommend taking this guy out first. Uh, you can do it from here, it's just... there we go. Nice. My weapon... oh, actually, no, I'm using the Seer's bow, I don't know why. Push him, push him, push him, push him, push him. Push him, push him, push him, push him, push him. Push, push, push. Oh god. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Come on. Now you want to use your... No, not that one. Damn that poison. And he still got me. Health is still a little low. Not really much I can do about the health situation. Okay, Master's Archer's Waste Guard, Warrior of the West, Warrior of the West. Wow, two Warrior of the West? Now, uh, yeah, it's this way. Hmm. Let's go for this Anki first. Look at that, that's terrifying. He's looking like literally right at me. Kick. Ah, oh, jerk. Well, at least I managed to get him over here without notifying, alerting the Aberrant Soldier. Alright, we're already over 20 minutes. Hilarious. Hilarious, but not hilarious. <laughs> it's alright, it's alright. Okay, I'm gonna get him first. Actually, I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like I was explaining this last time. Who else is seeing me? Oh, okay. Uh, this could be a problem. I have a feeling I'm gonna do relatively well against the boss fight because I feel like this build works different <laughs> I can't believe that worked I feel like this build works different against like it's got it hasn't got as much crowd control as it's got like focus damage so I don't know we'll see hopefully that's the case We're gonna get there quicker if we don't die. Um, yeah, I'll fight you. Crap. Oh, I can't see. I definitely would have wanted. Um, I looked through all of my pieces, thinking, or sort of like taking into consideration what would be good to add to my armor pieces. Cause like, for example, the, wait, going the wrong way. Or, yeah, yeah. For example, the, what's the one I got in the chest? Tiger Skin Curus. It's got room for a transferable skill, but I don't have like one ready to go. And I was like looking at it and you can get, you can give it, um, uh, there's like attack, defense, pro projectile damage taken. There's a few. Barehanded damage. These are all the ones I have. Running speed, technically. Um, I think probably attack is basically the best. You can put that on all your pieces. That was not good. So that would be worth it to do it, but it would take a fair while. It wouldn't take that long, honestly, but I was like, you know what, it should be fine. Plus, the, it's annoying when you you put all those abilities on and then you end up changing your gear set anyway, so... Kinda sucks. Go, 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 go! Oh my god. I almost died there. Okay, he gave me another core, which is fantastic. Alright, we're pretty much there. All I gotta do is... Go back to this shrine. I gotta fight like three more enemies and then I will take on Takichiro plus Kashin Koji, Kashin Koji. Times two. <laughs> so let's see if we can pull that off. Oh man. During practice, I got here, fought Takichiro, managed to beat him, I think, second go, and then. Man, yeah, managed to beat him second go, and then, and then I fought Kashin Koji a lot of times, couldn't beat him, and then I was forced to back out of the mission, which sucked. So 
So I was like, all right, I've, I need, still need to do something before I fight him because he's just too hard. Hopefully that's not the case here. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, come on, game. How do I have, like, little Emrita, not Emrita, Anima I am short of having the ability to use Mizuki twice. Oh wait, yeah, that's one way I can check it. I have 14.9, right? So Mizuki takes up 8, but you get refunded because of that ability from the Shifling if it's the same type, and it is. So, what would that mean? That would mean that it would be 15 minus 8, which is 7, but I'd have to reduce it by 1 because I have 14.9, so that makes it 6.9. And then I would get refunded a certain amount. Hmm, very interesting. Alright, I just realized I need to actually put on the Fire Talisman. So I'm going to do that now. I can also level up again. And ready jutsu. So I need fire stop. I need to take off. I think caltrop balls is not really that necessary. Fire stop. I can only put two because I have too much. So it is a barrier. I pretty much don't want wealthbringer. I'm going to get rid of wealthbringer. Archokai is maxed. Barrier is max. That's max fire stop. And put fire stop over here. And I want to use one more. I'm thinking like weakness would be good. Life seal. Life seal could also be really good. Hmm. Let's try life seal. Do I only have two? Well, that makes me less confident in that. Let's do weakness then. And I can only use four. Hilarious. All right. Uh, just give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. Let's go. And also I just realized something I could have probably got. Where is it? Where's that life seal? This one. Oh, okay. Okay. I was like, I mean, I was like, what happened there? Um, so yeah, you only get, you, you can get a third one, but yeah, I might try life seal after this. This part here I absolutely detest because these two, one of them can chase you and then the other one fires a, a cannon at you. So yeah, um, yeah, let's do it. So the other thing to point out is that Tokichiro can be, like you can face him off, face him, beat him, and then die and you'll start the fight at Kashin Koji, so important to note that. Okay, good. I was a little worried about how much damage I took early there, but I seem to be back in business. Excellent. We're off to a great start here. I don't know, I'm guessing the point where the fire hits the ground and emanates is where you counter that. Yep. <laughs> okay, that worked out well. Let me get some more combos in here. Beautiful. Don't forget the high stance triangle one for, uh, I forget what it's called. I want to forget what it's called. Fists of Reckoning. Oh my god, I remembered. There. As long as you hit once, it's fine. I was gonna dodge that. Oh, I didn't actually get affected by the, uh, Electrify. However, I think my first point of call is let's, let's defeat Tokichiro. <laughs> Have some of this. Have some of this. Remember, he's got that auto counter. Have some of this. Come on. Nice. No. Ah, please come, please. Ah, damn it. Bro, almost beat um, Takichiro first go. <sighs> Alright, um, let me think. I'll run back there one more time, and then after this. Like, I, I assume I'm going to beat him now, and then after this we'll see what happens. I didn't use weakness, I probably should have used weakness. Remember, I've got enemy sensor on, so keep an eye on the, uh, on the enemies. Okay, I died immediately in my second attempt, so I just decided to cut everything out until my successful attempt, so here we go. Take 
this. Not enough. That's what I wanted. Ah, pressed it, but it got me a little bit too quick. Good. I feel like when I'm using... Um, oh god. Uh, when I'm using Mizuki, my defense goes up a little bit. That one is very hard to dodge, by the way. Come on, give me health. Nice. Okay, good. Perfect. Have some of this. Ah. Okay. No! Ah, he steals M Riddle with that attack. Almost. <laughs> Played it risky there, but almost paid off. <laughs> no! Okay. I am out of Adama. Um. Come on. Nice. Mm. Please die. Bro, just die. <laughs> okay, we got him. That shouldn't have taken... Oh my god, I actually got the smithing text. <laughs> okay, um, let's just go straight into the Kashin Koji fight. It's so rare to get that text. Holy crap. All right, Kashin Koji. Let's see if I can beat you. We're off to a great start. Heal. I'm just gonna go straight into this. Ah, oh, that's right. I'm supposed to probably use that. Okay, well that was great. Roll, roll. Always step back before you roll uh, with that second swing of that attack, because if you don't, you'll get hit by the back swing. Alright, this is still doing well. Um, okay, yeah, avoid this crap. Don't drop into the ground. Nice. Ah, freaking weakness doesn't work on him, unless you hit him twice. Oh my god, I did one whole attack. Um, okay, I need health. Take this. <clears throat> get away, get away, get away. Heal again. This is a good one to use, this is a good one to use. Two, three. Give me some elixirs there. Ah, <laughs> damn. All right, I'll meet you at Kashin Koji again. Be right back.
Okay, got a chance here to at least get through his first phase. Come on! Yes, okay, first phase done. Seventh Sword Tomfa. Got a rebuff. Damage, man. Oh, crap. No! Oh. <laughs> Damn. How did you not die on that one? Okay, second phase again. Slayer's Axe. Where is he? Wait, come on. Oh my goodness, I think I got it. Yes! Holy crap. Alright, thank god. Oh man, thank god that didn't go, end up going. <laughs> and my and my item box is full. Alright, uh, get rid of that and get rid of... I don't want to go through all these new items. Fisher Mountain. And maybe this one. Okay. Give me, hang on, this, this, and I can pick up one more. Wrong one, but doesn't matter. Oh my goodness, finally. <laughs> oh, that was so difficult. Second phase actually seemed a lot easier. Uh, I don't know exactly what made it seem easier, but it did. All right, done. Here we go. The following chapters have been unlocked. Afterglow, Tengu's Disciple, Darkness in the Capital, The First Samurai. And Breaking Free Strike Like a Yokai. Mystery of Rashomon, Cradle of the Demon, Bewitching Tower. Let me just have a quick look over here. Got two more of these. Onryoki Enki Onibi, Nue Bakugani, and Lesa Umibozu. Nice. Item drop rate. Wow. Alright. I did it. I somehow friggin' did it. Let me quickly 
Get rid of these. Should probably do this and as, as well as the previous one. I may, I may choose to see if I had any tea utensils that were worth thing. Tenmoku, probably not because didn't have any tea utensil drop rate on it. Grab this. All right, I know this episode's gone on long enough. I know I didn't probably didn't say too much. I just expected to be able to go for like much longer than I went, but I'm happy that I did actually finish it. So that's really good. Um, we have now, after all that, I'm just gonna check these Slayer's Axe in Bew Water and the Child of the Suns. I can't believe I actually have the ability to make that. Warring, Unifier, Warring States. I love this bone and this uh, set. Yeah, what else did I get? Black Bear Fur, so Auto Life Recovery on Enemy Killed is pretty good. And Melee Damage versus Unscathed Enemy. Sweet. Um, yes, so let's have a look. So in terms of what's left, we can go straight to the Tengu's Disciple and we basically just need to complete all these missions. So, Eternal Rivals, Prisoners of Stone, Soul of the Warrior Monk, an Encounter Among the Blossoms, and then head west and do the same thing, and do the same thing for all of Darkness in the Capital and the First Samurai. After we do that, we finish the game, or we get the 100%. So I'm going to leave myself here. I cannot believe I actually managed to pull that off. Now I have to pull it off on my practice <laughs> for the first time. The actual guide is ahead of the practice. Not for long, but yeah, it is. And uh, I'm going to leave things there. For now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 176 of Less Platinum and 100% Neo 2 Remastered. My name is Ultima456. You're the Ultimates. And I'll see you next time.